Here's a suggestion that's near and dear to my heart. Be kind to your fellow comics, even if you hate them, even if you think they're not funny. If you have an issue with one, try to work it out privately. Don't publicly criticize them. Don't put them down. Look, I know comics love to gossip. I do it too. But I do it behind closed doors with people that I trust. I can't find it online, but I remember a story. It's kind of along the lines of Jerry Seinfeld going over to Jay Leno's house to watch comics perform on The Tonight Show. And they would just sit there and goof on the comic and criticize their act. That's fair game. It's what comics do. But again, it was in private. And even now, I don't know what comics they were talking about or what they were saying. And even in private, make sure you're careful with who you're confiding in. Nothing will destroy a comedy scene quite like clicks, backstabbing, rumors going around, or one comic hearing what a couple other comics were saying behind their back, because it might be an exaggerated joke amongst friends but if you hear that back third party, it can destroy you. Most comics don't have a sense of humor about themselves. It's crazy because we make jokes for a living, but it's very true. And they especially don't have tolerance for it if it's not said to their face in a friendly, joking manner. Probably more than half of my jobs in Hollywood came from fellow comics. And I did the same back. I, I can't tell you how many comics that I gave them their first TV credit by putting them in sketches on the Best Damn Sports Show, period. Brody Stevens, Lonnie Love, Joey Diaz. If you don't like another comic in your scene, just distance yourself from them. You don't have to badmouth them. You don't even have to work it out. You can just kind of separate yourself, still be civil, but don't make a huge deal out of it. Sabotaging someone else will eventually catch up with you. It'll backfire bad. If someone asks your opinion on a comic you don't like or you don't find funny, there's plenty of ways to get out of criticizing them. You could just say, not my cup of tea, but apparently they're doing well. Or I haven't seen enough to really make a judgment. Or, you know what, I don't like to criticize other comics. I have my hands full trying to improve my own act. It's pretty simple. There's plenty of comics I don't like, whether it's because they were rude to me or I think they're hacky or they talk about topics I find disgusting, but you'll never hear me publicly talking shit about them. There are some notable exceptions. An unrepentant thief. A comic who scams other comics out of money. Any comic who advocates for censorship of another comic or comedy in general. And especially any comic who's committed verifiable crimes. I say verifiable. It has to be more than just an accusation. But even with all that, I do believe in second chances. If the person is genuinely sorry and if they've paid for their sins and they're not doing it anymore. That's what we offer in our society to the general public. You commit a crime, you do your time, you pay your debt. That's where I stand on those things. And there's some people that just, they can't be redeemed in my eyes. But there's a lot of comics I changed my mind on because they grew and developed and I grew and I developed. Here's what I know deep in my heart. I know how terrifying it was to get on stage the first time at an open mic. I know what it was like to sleep in my car when I was between gigs in completely different states because I didn't have enough money to buy a hotel room that night. I know how hard it is to craft a joke where you add one word or take one word out and it completely falls apart. I know what it's like to perform for four people sitting in a booth just outside the doors of the theater that I was booked to perform in, but it's empty, and these are the only people that came to the show. I know what it's like to be a comic. 
And so I extend as much kindness and as much grace to everyone who has ever had the courage to grab a microphone and try to entertain the crowd. It's not my role to judge. My role is to be the best comic I can be and secretly talk shit behind closed doors because comics are critics of everything. And we're gossiply, gossiply, gossiply. We like to gossip. That's what I'm trying to say. But I was trying to say it in like a cool way, and that's not. Glad you watched this. I hope you find this channel again.